Okay, I'm just going to do a quick um, road update video. Uh, we've been working on the road to... It's kind of a bypass, really. Um, cut some time off this road by going this way, and plus it joins our two deeds together, uh, which I've probably already said. But um, I haven't really done too much road building, so uh, I had to kind of work it out. Actually, all in did this uh, little technique. I don't know if it's the standard way that everyone does it, but it's the way that uh, he decided it's a good idea to do it, and uh, it works quite well. So, uh, we were heading down this way, but um, we decided that we were just getting too steep, and we would have ended up halfway over the houses and the deed down there, and we didn't really like that, so uh, we decided to have a go going along the cliff cliff face over here. Uh, we just hope that we don't get to past uh, 195 uh, slope because um, that's basically what uh, our highest uh, digging skill can do at this point in time. Uh, we do have resources. Um, I do know some people that um, obviously have a lot higher than that, um, which is mine is like 65. So, but I think we could be okay because I think the cliff face. Uh, kind of is changing its slope but basically I was, was quickly going to go through this little technique I know pe obviously a lot of people know how to do it or have a different way and uh, if there is a different way uh, that would be good if someone could share it because um, it's pretty interesting so basically what what we do is uh, stand on this tile and we level up the tile next to us and we level up the tile next to us till the right hand far corner gets to a 20 slope so when that happens you stop and then you dig down the left hand far corner because uh, down to a 20 because what will happen when you're leveling it up it's going to become flat on the left hand side and you've got to dig it down back down to 20 again so after you do that you get to these corners here which is just in front of me which um, here and to the right here and you take that down to 20 which you'll produce another flat down the bottom so then you'll have a flat tile then you'll stay, stand on your flat tile and you do exactly the same process as what you did on this tile um, it takes a lot of dirt obviously at this height but um, like you can have a look over here uh, it's quite steep um, it's quite hard to get up this hill um, my climbing's getting up higher, but uh, for a couple of the other guys, it's a bit, bit treacherous. So, that's basically just running through the digging, and the road making style that we've been using. Um, throw some comments down if you think, you know, tell us if there's a better way, or if you like this way, or something like that. I don't know if it's a standard way, because I haven't really read anything about it or anything like that. But uh, hopefully we'll get down and around that corner down there and down towards the house. Uh, we may swing a little bit left uh, on one of these tiles shortly. So we get away from the steepness of the, the bottom of the cliff down there. So there we have it. As you can see, the road is coming along. It's basically going to cut that... Well, not cut out the road because it's a good road but it will s save a bit of time travelling through here uh, and like I said it um, links our two deeds uh, Olim's and Daz and mine so um, which is cool because you know we don't want to go all the way around um, to get up and down so it's a good project um, enjoying it heaps and uh, I think we'll leave it there um, I might just walk up the road once again so you can see what's been happening um, and I will do another video shortly. This is just a quick one, so I'll see you later.